Oi, oi, oi. Massa. Cuidado. How you see me I do massa, Jasper? Man, move your dirty bum buckler from me girl pussy clad them. Mm. Your dirty bum buckler them, but you not even wash out good. Are you a pussy clad line? And me put up that for me woman hang out her pussy clad them. So we blood clad I do pan there. Mm. Man, I'm my pussy clad line and me can't put up any amount of blood clad me want put up there. Man, you see period? How you do with that blood clad? Yo, you hear me I say? Me not in a bum buckler argument with you. Blood clad. Pussy clad. Bombo clad. Oi, hey Jasper, you're not paying me from the tour boat that we have. Hey, Jeffrey, I want to hear you, man. You know, since a slavery just done. Yeah, go get the thing, man. Relax, man. Hey, boy, Jasper, where you want me to come chop you up from a go? Oh, the man said for move your bum knock like you blood clad, Def. Yo, Jasper, Def, you blood clad, Def. I Def, you must have blood clad, Def. You try to remember, come over there and kick him down. Pussy clad. Blood clad. I don't know what I'm saying about this sound serious. Blood clad. This is the type of comedy that I love right this is the type of comedy i appreciate funny and thought provoking makes you think about history things that happened in the past and how those things in the past in the past really shape the way for who we are today and how we are today and why we do some of the things that we do today i thought it was an excellent piece so big up to king tavi for this i didn't show all of it because it's not my content so please go over to his channel and watch the entirety of the video it's a really good clip and really makes you think about how some of the words that we use today as jamaicans how they came about and why do we use them the way that we use them and i want to go a little bit further with the conversation if you're not jamaican and you don't understand there are certain words that we use that that we call curse words there were words that were used by our ancestors to really stress and exaggerate a point words like blood clot bumble clot ras clot pussy clot you may understand the first words blood bumble pussy ras maybe not ras but clot at the end of that is really the way that jamaicans say cloth you know we say clot that would be patois for cloth back in the days they might have had cloths that they would use instead of tissue you know they would use cloth or they would call panties pussy clot or blood clots because you know women bleed so the cloth that they would use instead of pads they would call them blood cloth right and you know a panty would be pussy cloth and you know anything that you would use to wipe your bottom instead of tissue would be bumble cloth right so these words came about as a result of things that would have been used to clean up waste and i suppose that might have been where <laughs> they became curse words because generally curse words are words that people find offensive and people don't really want to associate with if you go over to his page and watch the entire clip you will see later on in the clip he actually made mention later on in the clip of another curse word that jamaicans use all the time which is suck your mother and people find that extremely offensive like People will fight if you tell them to go suck their mother. They are so offended. One of the worst things that you can tell a Jamaican is to go suck their mother. But I really want to talk about the spiritual aspect of it, right? I remember some time ago, I watched a video with Peter Tosh. I hope I can find the video and insert it here. But he was talking about blood clot and bomba clot and these words and how powerful they were 
you know, spiritually. Bombo cloth is one of Jamaica's password, one of the most highest potential of culture that relieves the spells of. He was speaking to how powerful these words are that were created by our ancestors. So there's, there's not just, it's not just about um, using them to curse each other. Like the guy said in the video, this sounds serious. You know, when somebody is very serious about a situation, you will hear them chuck a, a, a blood clot or a bumble clot and then you will know that they're really serious about what they're saying right if you don't really understand after all of the different things that they might have said you may understand when them say move your blood clot right you take it serious then and it says that these words have some kind of power there's some power behind them and that's why we call them curse words so what i really want to talk about here also is the use of the word blood they don't tell us about the significance of our period the significance of our blood what it means spiritually what ancient women knew about our blood and the power that is in our blood Society tends to shun women, shame women for their cycle. When they are in their cycle, women feel ashamed of their cycle and their bodies and don't really understand exactly what is happening to them and why certain things are the way that they are and why they should be living differently and why we should be treated differently, not in a negative way right but why we should be treated like goddesses because we're on our cycle there is a spiritual significance of our blood and i think our ancestors intelligently realized how powerful the blood is and that you can make reference to a woman's period to blood cloth or pussy cloth and use that word to curse or use that word to condemn, use that word to change a situation, you know, I, I put fear in someone or cause someone to act differently, right? So I want to talk more about the power of the blood. So stay tuned for the next video.